Happy New Year 2022. Happy Holidays. This video is going to be kind of three tiered. We're going to talk about a little market update. We're going to do some thank yous at the end and then some projections uh, of 2022. So it might be a little bit long, but hopefully it'll be entertaining. So let's get some market updates. Really a great snow year so far. And I've been doing a lot of snow blowing. So again, Happy New Year and welcome to 2022. Just a quick recap for 2021. Um, definitely another record setting year for real estate in Steamboat Spring. Median sold price of a single family home went from 1.22 in 2020 to 1.7 in 2021. So a huge increase in median sold price for single family homes. For townhomes, that median sold price in 20. 20 was 746,000, 2021, 840,000. So again, a big increase in median sold price for townhomes. And for condominiums, hold on, I gotta get the blade a little bit lower. Condominiums, 2020, the average or the median sold price, 445,000. For 2021, the median sold price 625,000. So huge increase for condominium median sales price. One of the message in most real estate markets is very low inventory, which is absolutely true. But we do have inventory. It just happens to be selling much quicker. When you're browsing real estate sites, you don't have a lot to look at, but actually inventory is pretty high. It just goes under contract really fast. An idea about inventory levels in 2019, we had 1,036 real estate transactions for residential property, so not land or commercial. In 2020, we had 1,236 transactions, residential transactions. In 2021, we had 1,216. So still quite a few transactions taking place in 2021. Uh, the market's just moving a lot quicker, so you just gotta be ready to, ready to pounce. 29 in 2021 i was responsible for 29 transactions and you are going to see all of those at least briefly um, once we're done with this market report so stay tuned for that so here's how fast the steamboat market is moving in 2019 the median days on the market meaning how long a property sits was 78 days in 2020 16 2021 eight days that's a median that means some properties are actually selling in hours not days and others take a couple weeks but basically the speed of this market is really fast give you an idea of how fast steamboat is transacting shall we say in the last 60 days there has been 30 single family home sales and of those 30 single family homes 19 sold for below asking price so that's not bad and keep, but keep in mind, single family homes don't typically sell during the holidays all that much. Four of those transactions were at asking price and seven of them were above asking price, so a bidding war. Now to townhomes. So townhomes, we had 26 transactions and of those 26, five of them sold for below asking price, 11 asking price and 10 were above asking price. So roughly 80% of those transactions either sold at asking price or a bidding war above asking price. Now condominiums, uh, some resort area properties are super hot in the last couple months. 53 transactions, 22 sold for under asking price, 12 sold for asking price, and 19 was a bidding war and sold for over asking price. So 58% of the transactions that happened in condominiums in the last 60 days either sold at asking price or a bidding war above asking price. So the speed of the market is super quick here in Steamboat Springs. Once again, another reason why you need 
tactics and uh, some tricks up your sleeve. Given the speed of this market, it definitely pays to have a experienced real estate agent negotiating on your behalf because in these multiple offer situations, you definitely don't want to overpay, but if it's a house of your dreams, you definitely want to make sure you don't lose out. A big heartfelt thanks to those 29 clients who in 2021 put their trust in me to get their transaction done. And of those 29 transactions, 23 of them were multiple offer situations. So whether you're a buyer or a seller, it pays to be quick and decisive in this market to get things done. So let's take a quick look at those 29 properties right now. You could get pretty used to those views. Trey and Renee, I'm so excited you're moving towards your Steamboat Dream home and I look forward to seeing the progress. Drew and Ashley, as a family grows, so does the desires of each individual. From a convenient ski home to exploring and open spaces. I love what you've done and I look forward to seeing the changes. Kirk and Cindy, welcome to town. I hope your steamboat adventures are often and memorable. Steve and Therese, there might be a little sadness to let go of County Road 14, but I'm sure the grass is greener where you ended up and I'm sure you're enjoying the sunshine and warmer weathers. Matt and Brandy, I'm so psyched for you two. You gotta love the three minute drive to the rink. That's a hat trick each and every day. John, it might not be a worn in cashmere sweater, but it's a darn nice place to call home. Enjoy the views. John and Danielle, the only sad thing about everything working out so well is that you two are leaving town. We miss you, but wish you the best. Joe and Kay, nothing better than creating memories with your grandkids. I'm excited you now have a steamboat place that puts you a lot closer to the kids. An ice rink in the front yard? Matt and Brandy, how much better does that get? I'm so psyched for you guys. Keith and Diane, as our kids grow up and start their own lives, downsizing can be a rejuvenating process. I'm sure your adventures just keep getting better. Charles and Deborah, letting go of a steamboat townhome wasn't easy, I'm sure, but the memories of your family there will last forever. Hey George, family is always more important than a job. You did the right thing. We all miss you and hope you're settling into your new modern digs. Jeffrey and Deborah. Adventure seems to be your middle name. Congratulations on your top of the mountain steamboat home. May that be the base camp for all your steamboat adventures. Benj and Abby, now that Fairacre Ranch has new stewards, I hope the time you've gained back goes directly into the enjoyment you have with your kids. Josh and Raquel, I'm sure waking up to snow is something you're not used to, but I'm sure the views and sunshine will be a welcome change. Ron and Darcy, Timing is everything in real estate and I'm so excited you guys got in when you did. Enjoy the great town home and enjoy the winter. Tim and Sue, we're all looking for that peaceful place to unwind, that place to begin your next adventure. I'm pretty confident you found that special place. George and Catherine, I'm sure you have some great memories from that steamboat condo, but moving forward into your next chapter is just as rewarding. Susan, letting go can be freeing. It was an honor to collaborate on the marketing of 787. While I know your next chapter is unknown, I have no doubt it will be filled with surprises and happiness. Mike, congratulations on the sale and return on investment and not even stepping inside. Well done. Scott and Jean, what's it like to not have to weed the yard, mow the lawn, or snow below the drive? A lifestyle change can also give you more time to enjoy Steamboat. Judy, change is hard, very hard. I'm so honored to have helped you through the process. I'm sure that being surrounded by family during the holidays was a very welcome change. We miss you already. Ryan, welcome to Steamboat. As you speculated, the times are a changing and I'm excited you locked in when you did. Enjoy the skiing and welcome to town. Lauren, while it wasn't your home for long, you made a huge impact in the property and the value. Best of luck on your next project. We'll miss you. Jordan and Batya, it might not be the 10 acres with spectacular views, but snowball removal is a lot easier. Good to see you're putting in roots in town. Luke and Catherine, so thrilled for you, the kids, and the pup. 
What a great location and such a perfect place to escape the city. Andy and Emily, at some point you'll look back and be so psyched about this move. It's not always easy, but it will be rewarding. I guarantee it. Chuck and Lynn, now what? I'm sure your mind is a little more free to think about that next trip, that next project, or just doing nothing. Congrats. Valerie, so excited for you and your next project. If it's anything like the last, it's gonna be incredible. Well done. Rick and Katrina, every time I hear you hanging with your grandkids on the phone, I couldn't help but feel that the time spent with family now is well worth letting go of Lynx Basin. Congratulations and Happy New Year. So a huge thank you to all those lovely people that I help maybe change their life and help their dreams come true. People that put their trust in me to either sell their house or represent them as buyers in the steamboat market. Um, I can't thank you enough. And it's been an absolute pleasure 2021. As for 2022, Steamboat's on the move. You know, it's, real estate is very hyper-local and with that huge capital improvement at the base area, we're gonna see changes for the next three, four years at the base area. So that's only gonna drive more tourists here, gonna drive more investors and people like you that just love spending time here in Steamboat. So I do still see the Steamboat market going up in prices. Hopefully things will slow down as we get more inventory. Uh, but with this COVID migration and the capital infusion, uh, Steamboat is going to continue to grow. If you're thinking about doing a big change um, and you're not sure where to start, please give me a call, send me an email, or shoot me a text. Well, thanks again for watching and hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Bye-bye.